Okay, so working in Photoshop, we have endless possibilities when we come in and we take a look at these filters and blending modes. Now, to begin, what we're going to find is that even when we are on every layer that we can work with blending modes. Now again, in Photoshop, we are manipulating our photographs. So what we're going to do as we we're going to do with this is we're going to begin by coming in to layer and duplicating our layer. Okay, I opened my first picture up right in Photoshop and I can see that it automatically is locked. But I want to have a, I'm going to duplicate my layer just so underneath it I have a copy of what it is that I am going to do. All right, so again, as we look at this layer, we can come up here and we can see that we have all of these blending modes up here. So for instance, I could come and click Vivid Light and that's what would happen. Now, I'm not going to do that, but just to know that you can access these blending modes right there. What we're going to do now is take a look at the filter gallery and look at how we can work with um, oops, look at how we can work with filters and the blending mode to have a lot of possibilities. So we come to our menu and we see filter. We click filter and we can see all of these different options. Now, I like the filter gallery because we can click that and we can come in and we can see little previews of all of these different things. So I can do brush strokes, I can do all of this different stuff. I think I, I have glowing edges is the one that I had selected. Um, but there we go, glass, splatter, the possibilities are endless. And then even as we come up um, into artistic, we can even work with you know the pencil width. Now we can access all of these different um, different filters in here. Okay, so you'll find you could spend quite a bit of time playing around in here working with these different possibilities. Now, what I'm going to take for this first example is I'm going to hit glowing edges and I'm going to say okay. Now, if for instance you don't, if you're really zoomed in like so, just make sure that you lower the zoom on this window over on the left. So I'll hit okay and there I have it. Now I want to continue to play with this working with the blending mode. So I'm going to come up to image, I'm going to come to edit, and I'm going to say fade filter gallery. Now when I get this window, I can lower this effect. Okay, I can fade it out. I can also come in and work with the mode. And what I'm going to do, and again, the possibilities are endless, play around, figure out what it is that you like. I'm going to come and choose vivid light. And there we have it. Come on to my next one. Let's do another one. I'm going to take this image here. I'm going to come on into my filter gallery. And for this one, okay, well, first of all, I forgot to duplicate my layer. So I'm going to come on up layer, duplicate layer. Now, either unlock your layer or duplicate it. Now I'm going to come on into my filter gallery and I want to choose. I still have this one. Um, checked but for my next one I will let's try something different maybe torn edges kind of cool hit OK uh, and now again I'm going to come on into image fade filter gallery fade this one down a bit come on in and choose a linear burn Okay, now that completely changed the look of the image so I could even try another one and maybe we'll do subtract and see what that looks like. Hmm, not so wild about that. I'm gonna try yet another one. Go back to normal and let's see, maybe I'm gonna up this a little bit. It's actually an interesting shape that has come out of this. Maybe come to hue. Okay, so I think we get the ideas. Oh, there we go. Pin light. That's the one that I like. Okay, good. Again, we can play around with the fade of it. We can up it. Either way, it works. All right, so let's actually take another look at yet another one. And again, we can play around with these quite a bit. But if I come in and I took a look at this image right here, and again, I'm going to duplicate my layer. I'll hit OK. Now, what we want to note is that whenever we have a selection in Photoshop, whatever we do with the filter or the adjustments, whatever it is we do, it will happen just within that selection. So a really great way to make selections are with these two tools right here. We have the quick selection and the magic wand. 
the quick with the quick selection so I can just take this I'm going to set my pixel size to about 10 16 is good and I'm gonna come on in here I'm gonna click and because this bird is pretty much you know the same is a different color than what's around them although it's pretty gray around them we're gonna find that he'll actually be a pretty easy something to select now what I want to do now is apply a filter I come on into my filter gallery and we'll choose another one okay that was the one that was still on there so what happens what I just did when I said filter gallery it just applied the last filter that was used okay so if you get a filter and you like it and you want to reuse it then that's the way to go but what I'm going to do right here is come into artistic and we'll do a palette knife for this guy and we'll up the stroke detail I'm going to zoom it on in zoom it on in zoom it on in um, let's see get rid of some of that softness well the softness is pretty right on there let's actually change this a little bit here let's do poster edges there we go here we have the poster edges excellent so I hit OK and I can see that I have the poster edges on this guy now if I come on into my edit I want to keep him selected I come on in to edit and what we can do right in here is actually put in some of our adjustments to this image so I could come on in and I could darken him uh, I could come on in over here and do an overlay okay and just do different things of the sort to create a different kind of image but again whatever is inside of the selection will be the only thing affected by the filter I'll end there we can see there are endless pro and endless possibilities working with filters and we can continue working with the filters by ex we can extend what we do with the filters by continuing to work with the blending mode which we find in our layers um, and also as we come in to edit and fade that effect. Thanks for listening.